Last time you remember, um, my building had collapsed. We'd had an extreme uh, snowstorm, and uh, the building that we had clearly wasn't up to carrying that snow. Um, and obviously, we had a, had a long process of clearing the site, um, putting a new building up, and we're now at the stage. Uh, two days ago, we actually got the cows into the building, um, and shortly we'll be starting to train them to use our milking robot. Uh, the new building was put up by SNA from Barnard Castle. Um, we're very happy with the building. Um, we feel as though all the um, uh, engineering features have gone into the building to make the building a far more secure building uh, with stiffness and extra bracing uh, where necessary, uh, which we feel was obviously the original building should have had. Um, Overall, the building now is a much uh, more substantial building and feel as though coming up to a, a winter where it's expected to be quite severe, uh, the building will, will cope with whatever uh, weather we get. The service we received from SNA was very good. Uh, Jeff Simpson came on site, uh, realised the situation we had and acted very quickly. Uh, we got a, 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 a and a package put together for clearing the site, uh, new building fabricated and erected which was all done uh, very quickly. Um, we feel as though that the uh, service was excellent, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be happier. Having received the phone call to come and have a look at the damaged building, we then proceeded to, uh, to submit a tender. We were successful with that tender. Um, in the tendering process we tried to salvage as much of the original building as we could to keep the, the costs as low as possible um, and having been successful then proceeded to design the building correctly. We then manufactured the building and while this was proceeding we cleared the site of all the debris and prepared the, the site for correction. The main changes to the design were we increased the size of the columns, we kept the rafters the same but we increased the length of the haunches and we put in rafter stays and most importantly there were stiffness and uh, bracings, additional and heavier bracings went in to improve the stability of the building. Let's go and I'll point these out to you now. Interestingly this is a good place to start the tour of the building because the farmers managed to salvage some of the roof and side bracings and use them in the uh, building here. He straightened them out and these were the side bracings that came from the top of the column behind me down to the base of this column here. And this size of tube has been replaced by two K bracings. These tubes were also used in the roof of the building and in the gable bay but only at one end. These have now been replaced with bigger bracings as you see at both ends of the building. One of the most important features that were missing from the original building was this stiffener that connects the inner flange with the outer flange of the columns. That was a, a primary reason for the collapse of the building. Uh, because of the uh, altitude of, of this particular site um, and the snow and wind loads expected, we put a, a Morris stiffener in here to stiffen up the uh, flange of the, sorry, the web of the building and we've added a stiffener again at the top uh, in line with the rafter. We've also increased the length of the bottom haunch. We have added rafter stays and we have added an eaves tie to connect the columns together, all of which were missing from the original building. So that's a quick tour of the building and hopefully shows the features of good design. It should be reassuring for the industry to know that in 2013 all agricultural buildings will be required to carry the CE mark. This is something that will be policed by the trading standards and is a legal requirement on all building manufacturers to ensure that their buildings will be designed to this standard.